Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Fully Hooli episode number four. Okay, the previous episode, um, we got uh, not introduced, we got properly acquainted. We already got introduced to her before, uh, to, an, to a character, Nina Mori. And it was based on that one character. Uh, her dad was having like a little scandal going on, most probably and you know like she the reporters were kind of hounding them and everything they were like you know the parents were thinking about taking a divorce all these things were happening while uh in the, in the middle of it she was stuck in and she didn't want their parents to get divorced but at the same time she was like you know like she did not want to show weakness that's why she was acting tough like all these things were happening while like, you know nalta gets involved on in all of this and you know stuff happens and again like we see like a recurring theme that is happening is Naota like first of all the uh, the bike it's uh, Haruko's uh, bike it's what was the name Haruko or Haruno uh, oh my god I'm mixing everything's up again I think it was Haruno anyways her bike hit uh, Naota and Naota hit someone else and like then like weird stuff starts happening these big robots come out and whenever like you know the that facility in there whenever like you know steam counts comes out of that weird robots come out Canty starts fighting it and then uh, you know Naoto and they like kind of fuse together Canty and like become a red robot and then they fight like this like thing is happening and we still don't have an explanation what the hell is happening but we know this is happening this is like recurring in each and every episode so who knows maybe we'll get some explanation or maybe we won't <laughs> but let's just wait for it and yeah and by the end of it everything was kind of okay like the thing like you know the problem kind of went away and uh like you know the dad's uh, like the dad and the mom won't get a divorce the school play happened and nina mori is happy in a way i guess in the end <laughs> you know we see like her kind of again showing her uh, uh what do you call it that the tough side that she usually shows you know by wearing that glasses it seemed as if she's showing her uh secret to everyone but it was like a fake glass like that was like a symbolism of no she has not changed she's still like that and i and i have to say like yeah i prefer her like that so yeah let's see what this episode brings so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number uh four of fully Kuli. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, what? Oh, baseball. Ah. Wow, what? Exactly. And I'm guessing she's striking everyone out as well when they're pitching. <laughs> oh my god, the coach is... Is, is this like a part-time for her? The Martians Mount All right Taskchan Oh Who's that one person sitting Oh it's not Oh god Task Oh Tasku his brother okay Oh wow. <laughs> the volcano is dead. Oh my god. Oh Kanti's here. Can can he help? Yeah, he can. You're hired. Or you're not hired. What do you call in this? <laughs> Secret weapon. 
Wow. <laughs> Bandit. <laughs> Nah, he's actually, you know, like, they are again comparing his brother with him. Like, that's probably what's bothering him the most. I don't know. Hmm. Exactly. Unless you swing the bat, nothing will happen. Okay. All right. Let's see what more shenanigans. What the hell is happening? Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Why is he using his chin? What the hell? Oh, stop. <laughs> he let him... See, using his stubble to... Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, they hired her. Part time, there you go. Oh my god, calm down, dude. What the hell is happening? Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's nasty in his head. What the hell? Like this. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, who's this? Is this a brother? No, who's it? No, it's someone else. I thought the brother came back or something. Ooh. Damn. He's talking about, like, you know, it's kind of like a thing about Haruko. Who's, does he know him? <laughs> three, zero, three, zero, three. Okay. <laughs> oh my god whoa 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 what what whoa, what's happening What? Wait, what happened there? Wasn't that his dad's head? What? I need to check that out after this ends again. Shaky. Oh no. Outskirt of my base. What the? 
satellite. Oh no. Wait, who's this? New character? Shiosaki's gonna Amarao. Damn, his eyebrows. <laughs> Just what I was thinking. Huh. What's up with his hand? <laughs> Um Okay, it must be something completely different. Wait, what? Whoa. Oh. Ma <laughs> the eyebrows. Okay, Kanti is here. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, yeah, I see it's playing. Oh, my God. Wait, you, you forgot something. Oh, my God. Wait, what? Oh my god, this episode is so confusing. I'm unable to understand what the hell is happening. Like, there's this sudden scene when the head comes off. What is happening? Is this like some kind of a weird dream? Yeah, it is it's like a weird dream or something? What is happening? Okay, um, I really don't know what the hell is happening. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh! Mabase. That light is coming.
Oh my god, I don't understand. The television. Batting coach. What? Caught in a situation. Eyebrows. What the? Wait. What the... Wait, then who is that? Use my head. Oh! Okay! That's what she said, your head. Oh my god. Satellite bomb headed to us. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh Rahan Government and Mega
<laughs> Mommy means like Okay, no. <laughs> that's not the least you should that's not the thing that you should be worrying about. Whoa! Ugh. Okay. Okay. What is happening? <laughs> Why are they getting nosebleeds? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Oh, oh, what? But how? Oh. Hmm. Sink. Oh, my God, that's huge. Yeah, he again is waiting for Kant. Oh, wait. Oh, it stopped. Oh, oh, it's opening. Ugh. Damn. Wow. Okay. I think Haruk was probably waiting for this. Like, you know, like for him to actually take control f for himself without uh, waiting for his brother. You know, because we saw Haruko actually going away saying that, oh, like, it, it won't work. Like, you know, this place will get flattened. But then when he, she saw that, uh, you know, uh, Naoto, Naoto was actually trying for himself, she helped. I think so. <laughs> oh wow great second stage <laughs> i knew it that was not <laughs> that was not <laughs> his actual eyebrows oh my god i knew that what do you call them um the seaweed, um, you know, you, you put in the onigiris, I think it's probably something like that in his head. <laughs> oh, that's why he was like, oh, do you have any problem with my eyebrows? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now this episode, it's an interesting episode because... <laughs> even, like, you know, while I was watching it, I had no idea what the hell was happening. Like... This is full on chaos. I was like, like, I was like, is this normal? Am I supposed to not get this part or am I really not understanding what's happening? 
but then suddenly it starts making sense weirdly <laughs> oh my god like damn okay i need to uh, read that portion again i'll go back and start reading because they kind of like you know went through that a little bit quickly i wasn't properly able to read while reacting at the same time oh oh all right i think this episode was probably that haruko was trying to see if um like you know like if naoto is able to do like and take the reins for himself i, I don't know i feel like especially towards the end when she decides to go and help him as soon as he starts tries to swing the uh, guitar and i think this episode was also haruko trying to see if anyone else works you know like not naoto but like that's why she tried to do the thing with the dad's head you know she was trying to see if she can pull out the guitar like that from the dad's head or something i think it's something like that she was trying that and then she realized that no only naoto is the one who can like you know who's compatible or whatever it won't work with someone else so yeah that's why she said that your head is the one all right that's the end i think yep that's the end all right so okay now i need to go and read the section where ah okay where they kind of explain the whole thing okay here it is the guy says it's the no it utilizes the right and the left brain's thought process uh to open up an interdimensional channel capable of transportation sometimes instantly transporting materials from light years away but the notion that anyone's head can be used anyone's head can be used is incorrect wait a minute what okay let me let me read that section again um we see the naoto like you know <laughs> putting water on the dad <laughs> okay and uh, he, he says that uh, haruko wanted to borrow the dad's head and that's why it feels felt as if he was dead for quite a long while she, he felt okay then the guy says it's the no it utilizes the right and the left brain's thought process all right to open up an interdimensional channel capable of transportation sometimes instantly transporting materials from light years away all right so basically his head is like a interdimensional portal is that it or inter uh, what do you call it like light year away like that type of a portal which can you know then why did uh, why is he did she pull out a guitar from his head okay there's a few things that still don't make sense but a, f a few things kind of make sense as well because now we can kind of understand what the hell is happening and how does the robots come out of the head it's basically like in some things are trans getting transported to his head and i don't know why it's getting transported and how it gets transported is there like some kind of a trigger like i can kind of understand there is a trigger because whenever the whole like you know like uh like one thing i'm quite sure is like whenever they hit it with the guitar haruko hits the head with the guitar we saw here as well uh something happens most probably some kind of signal some kind of trigger happens and after that that, uh, that those weird robots kind of come out whenever naoto gets emotionally agitated or something like basically that was something that was happening i think and uh like kind of had like have like a clue what is happening but we still don't get the full picture which i'm not sure if they'll answer later on or not but we'll see um okay um so then the guy says that what you hit was nothing but a mannequin you know the dad okay so 
that was what was happening here now other than that there's nothing else i guess that was revealed which like you know important information because here you know like as i said like weird stuff was happening by the middle of it like for example when we see that uh, he comes back from the base like you know with the baseball bat and haruko says that so shall i coach you he says that no i don't need it and haruko's like yeah i'll do it especially for you and he says that why don't you go fool around with my dad stay out of my life and she says that right back at you head falls and he she's like it's no good unless it's your head okay this section is really weird like oh my god what is happening here like we see naoto is <laughs> wait what is happening here we see naoto's is that naoto's head This, this section is really weird, you know, like they show that dad's head is falling down and then we see suddenly like like someone is carrying Naoto's head and Naoto is looking at that and then we suddenly see like Haruko standing in front of him. My god, this section is weird as hell. But anyways, this is as I like, you know, I, I can kind of understand what type of show this is. You should not properly like, you know, think about stuff here you should not it won't make sense by the end of it <laughs> like this is that type of a show like just don't dwell too much into stuff things so yeah and okay one thing here first of all <laughs> like okay i'm going to talk like you know roughly about this episode because obviously if i try to go too deep into stuff i won't be able to understand i doubt anyone will be able to understand what the hell was happening in that scene like that was weird but anyways um <laughs> we see like you know like how uh, haruko so basically what was happening here is haruko was actually trying to uh, use and trying to experiment on someone else and see if like hitting someone else on their head would also work the same as it works with naoto so he asked the dad to do it the dad said that okay i'll help you he hit the dad and the dad died like went into semi death like you know type of thing or something situation and um so i think that's what you know like uh when naoto like, comes out in the middle of the night and he hears like like weird noises coming from the room he when goes out looks into the room and he finds his dad bloody on the um uh on the floor i think that's when it happened probably like haruko probably like you know hit the dad and the dad probably died there and i don't know like you know like and then probably the dad was in that state and the dad we were seeing after that was just like you know mannequin which i don't know was it a mannequin that haruko made i think so that haruko made and again like you know weird section but basically what the hell what was happening there is that like the dad tried to help her but instead i guess in a way died you know like went into a semi-death state or something and like i don't know like what naoto thought after like you know after seeing that scene i or i don't even know like whether if naoto was able to like you know when naoto as i said then now naoto goes outside the room at, the, at night and peeks into the room you know and there's this uh he saw his dad there bloody on the floor i don't know why he did not say anything after that like what happened what went through his mind but he didn't even ask anything to haruko about that and then the next day i think he hears the dad's mannequin like was that what happened my god this section is weird as hell yeah yeah i think that's what happens 
Okay, yeah, I can see that. He hit the television. Wait, he... Just a sec. He... He hit the television. So why the hell did the dad fall down? What is happening? He, she says that shut up. He hits the television and the dad falls down. And then he suddenly gets like a flashback of seeing his dad bloody on the ground. The clock is broken. He's standing there just looking at the dad and I don't know, then they suddenly go to that baseball match, you know, and Naoto is in front of that guy, you know, like the, the guy says that you hit him and he, he, Naoto's like, no, I did not hit him, I hit the television and he was like, yeah, I'm talking about the television and like, wait, so was the television and the dad connected or something? Like, what is happening? <laughs> oh my god, this episode is weird. And okay, and then he goes back his, to his home. I think like you know the emergency thing is sounding. He goes back home, and I don't know what the hell he's doing with. You know, he's like, oh, there was a plug. Okay, I'm like, what is he tugging? There was a plug he was tugging, and. You know, the, it was, which is connected to the dads. And then he f opens the closet and finds the actual dad. Uh, and <laughs> he goes to the, bath the bathroom and, you know, uses water on him. Okay, what happened to the dad? Like, he's like all dried up and everything. And he uses water on the dad and then there's like a blast. Oh my god. Okay, I don't know. Oh my god. Should I just... <laughs> You know what? I'm I'm going to do this. You know, uh, after I uh, like after I finish uh, reacting to this anime, I'll probably try to go to the wiki page and I'll I'll read the summary of each and every episode. Like uh, especially this episode. Like this episode is the most confusing. I don't know what the hell was happening, and I kind of understand by the end of it. Like what is the main thing of this episode? You know, like what happened to the dad, the dad like was trying to help, but the dad died, but then he comes back after <laughs> Naoto puts water on him. I don't know how he comes back, but you know, and he understands that in uh, Haruko was basically uh, Okay, yeah, Haruko was trying to like, you know, use Um, not use, but she was trying to actually uh, see if someone else works or not. Okay, and another thing which was we, I kind of saw here is like uh, when the guy, the guy uh, with the weird eyebrows, <laughs> he goes back and okay, like the other girl says, shouldn't we file a complaint? He's like, no, this satellite bomb was our secret backup plan in case of an emergency. Okay, so this was their actual, in a way, fault, I guess. We can't let the public know. Yeah, that's why he's like, yeah, we could, we should not file a... Okay, isn't she a horrid woman? Raharu. Raharu. Haru Hara. Raharu. What? Haru Har. Is that her title or something? What is that? Like, is that her last name? Haruha Ra No. Her name is Haruko, isn't it? Haruha ha Ra Haru. Oh, or maybe that's her original name or something. Is, it, is she like using a fake name in front of an auto or something? I don't know. Okay, uh, now he says that she wants to come between our government and medical mechanica. 
That's why she planned all of this. And she's willing to destroy the whole city to make it happen. Oh. Okay, so she basically tried to... Okay, get in... Like, you know, try to mess with them. Try to mess with their plans or whatever. And that's why she's saying that that's why to get that goal, she's even willing to destroy the city. And that poor boy. Okay. As I said, there's a lot of things that I still don't understand, but you know what? Yeah, just I'll just leave it. And then... And then uh, Haruko uh, pulls out the uh, guitar from his head and it shows that Haruko's probably trying to do the same thing to the dad, you know, the, 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 the night when he, she was saying suggestive stuff. <laughs> same things she's saying here as well in front of Naoto. So basically she was, I think she was basically trying to pull out some kind of, like, you know, just like how she pulled out a guitar from Naoto's hand. She was probably trying to do the same thing to the dad, but it failed. And the dad ended up dying in a way, half dead. <laughs> and she she brings out the guitar. Okay, now here's the thing. She like you know like the satellite is coming, and she says how uh, Naoto to hit it, you know. And okay, um. Here it is. Uh, how uh, Naoto is very scared. She, he's not able to do anything. He's freezing. Like the ball is this big, and he's like Nichan or brother. Another weird thing happens. If it's not weird, I guess you know because I we know that there is a connection between Kanti and Naoto and the brother some way. We don't know how, but now a weird symbol appears in both of their heads. And here we see Haru. Harukos saying that maybe when it counts, he'll be too scared to do anything. Depending on what he does, it may be uh, <laughs> goodbye to the good folks of Mab Mabase. Okay, here, I think she's actually, she, she's going down, wasn't she? Like, you know, like on her bike. She was, she, I think she was like, you know, going away, but then, then she sees that uh, Naoto is hitting, you know, has taken, you know, reign of what he should do. Like he's doing it on his own without depending on the brother. And he sees that, she sees that Naoto is hitting it. And then she comes back. I think that was probably what she's waiting for, you know, like when she sees that Naoto is taking uh, like you know, reins for himself, she decides to come back and help him. And we see like obviously it was because uh, of Haruko the whole city was saved because Haruko came and just hit it and it just went out like she had the power to stop it. But she was probably waiting for Naoto to actually take reins. Otherwise she was like, yeah, if Naoto doesn't take rain, like this, this town is gone. And she probably wouldn't have helped if Naoto did nothing at that moment. Because Naoto tried to stop it and use his guitar to, you know, stop it. And she was like, yeah, I'll help you. Like, uh, this, this kind of reminds me of, a, like, what do you call it? Like, God do helps those who help themselves. Like, uh, if you, I don't know, like, if you compare Haruko to God, like, you know, she's an alien. So you can say something like that. Like, if you compare Haruko to a God, she basically gave Naoto a, uh, what do you call it, like a way to actually stop the catastrophe that's coming, you know, the guitar, he, she handed it over to him and she said that, okay, you do it. So because how uh, Naoto swung the guitar, because he helped, tried to help himself, you know, Haruko came back and helped him get out of that situation. As I said, you know, God helps those who helps themselves. And God also provides the tools to everyone to get out of a situation. So you just have to like, you know, swing the guitar just like uh, Naoto did here. And because he did that, he took action, Haruko came back and helped him out of that situation. So unless and until you help yourself, God won't help you. So I, I think that was basically it, what was happening, what Haruko did here. Like, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, and then, you know, like... 
and then we see them going back my uh, like haruko and naoto and in the end we see how okay um just a sec oh yeah here it is um uh, naoto and uh haruko going back and then we see the biggest reveal of this episode <laughs> I forgot the guy's name, but his eyebrows are fake. Yeah. <laughs> I think those are basically um, no. I think you call them nori, aren't? Won't, aren't, won't uh, nori? Yeah, nori or seaweed. You know the, the things that you use in onigiris. I think it's probably that. <laughs> wow. God. Wow, that was great. Um, even though I wasn't able to understand a lot of things, but I was able to. Like, you know, make out, you know, the rough, like, rough idea of what's happening by the end of it. So, yeah. And, uh, like, you know, like, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure this, this, this uh, anime is especially something that you should not think too much about. Just go with the flow, you know, go with the flow. That's all you need to do. I'm sure you'll, we'll be able to understand something by the end of it. So, that's it. So, that was my reaction to Fooly Gooly episode number four. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll definitely check them out so that's it and thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week uh, with another episode of fully coolie until then goodbye and have a nice day